I first came across computational fluid dynamics during my bachelor thesis, and uh, I really loved the, the challenges that it poses where physics and computer science, mathematics and numerics are required to run these simulations. With computational fluid dynamics, you are able to model complex flow physics such as they appear in, in rocket engines, airplanes or satellites. And seeing your simulation predict exactly how your device is going to perform is an amazing feeling. And from there you can improve its design and features without endless experiments and testing. My project research was about optimizing the cold spraying process, which is a process where small particles are accelerated by an operating gas to supersonic speed. So we're talking about uh, one kilometer per second. And then they hit a substrate and form a high strength coating. And this process is quite new and increasingly more important in the automotive industry and aerospace industry, where uh, high quality and high strength corrosion resistant coatings are required. The problem of cold spraying is that it's an extremely expensive process um, since you require a huge amount of inert operating gas to speed up the particles. And um, moreover, the manufacturing of these small particle grains is really expensive. So for this reason, it is important to improve the efficiency and quality of cold spraying in order to reduce the amount of spoiled parts and reduce the cost of cold spraying. I chose to study at Cranfield because after my industrial experience I wanted to do my masters and get more into academically oriented working. And Cranfield University has a huge reputation especially um, for the computational fluid dynamics course. I had access to the Cranfield High Performance Computing Facility which is called Crescent and it contributed greatly to my studies, um, in particular my group project, which was about the optimization of a Formula One front wing, required immense number of simulations. The computing capacity at the Crescent facility provided um, helped us enormously in finding the best configuration of the front wing in order to maximize the downforce and its performance. I'm currently doing my PhD. I'm, I'm working at the University of the Bundeswehr in Munich at the Institute for Plasma Physics and Electric Space Propulsion. My long-term goal is to establish a novel deep space propulsion system which is able to enable propellantless spacecraft for interplanetary missions and to, to make it commercially feasible and available to new space startups uh, who are, which are looking for a, a new kind of deep space propulsion for their satellites. Studying in Cranfield taught me to work self-independently and find a solution by combining my own knowledge with the one available, for example, in literature. This award means incredibly much to me and all the work that I put into this study and doing my best and, and finding the best solutions that I could has paid off and is really recognized by the people of Cranfield University. So I'm, I'm really grateful for that.